Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Growing Up Blue where I post weekly vlogs about my Australian cattle dog puppies Racket and Bindi and take you along on our training journey and puppy adventures. Today I will be doing a five month old milestone video for Bindi. Before we get started, I just wanted to say if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. It really helps our channel out and as always, I really appreciate all the support that you give to me and Racket and Bindi. Okay, so it has been a while, I feel like, since I just sat down in front of the camera and kind of talked to you guys. The last couple of videos have been like more day in the lifestyle videos, which I have a ton of fun with because you can see kind of what we're doing every weekend really with Rocket and Bindi. But honestly, I have to say I miss just kind of like sitting down and talking with you guys. So of course today I'll just be sitting down and talking with you guys a bit, but then also mixing in some video of Bindi now that she is five months old so you can see all of her craziness and all of the wonderful things about her. And honestly, I have no clue where the time has gone. She is already so big and she's learning so quickly. She's developing into such a smart puppy. And I'm just really excited because she has started to do so many big girl puppy things. So when I was planning this video, I realized that I had not done a milestone video for Bindi yet and yes I realized too that I had promised you guys a milestone video of Bindi at four months old and that didn't happen I just feel like between getting their vaccines all finished up because they're both puppies and then also all of Bindi's dentist appointments which we've been going to like every other week but I'll talk about that in a little bit and then also just living normal life it's been pretty busy around here but I am excited that today we are finally doing a milestone video for Bindi so today I am just going to be showing you guys all the things that she loves doing lately where we're at training wise what games she likes to play what we need to work on training wise so as most of you know Bindi is a red healer Australian cattle dog and she was born October 5th 2020 and she weighs 32 pounds yes 32 pounds I just weighed her before this she's definitely a lot shorter and stockier than Rocket and definitely smaller but I can't believe she weighs 32 pounds I feel like every day like or whenever I go to pick her up and like put her in a car she's getting heavier and heavier so it makes sense that she's 32 pounds now it's a quick story it actually was really funny because we were at the doggy dentist the other day and the doctor and a technician were in a room with Bindi and I could hear through the walls them talking and I heard them say oh she's not a little girl anymore she's a big girl now <laughs> So Bindi is eating Purina Pro Plan Lamb and Rice Puppy Formula, which is the same food that Rocket is on because they're both puppies under one year. Now Bindi is getting three meals per day, although she's not too much of a breakfast person. You kind of have to wake her up and warm her up to the idea of food. But she eats three meals per day and she gets about a cup of that food each meal as well as it mixed with some warm water just to kind of create a little bit of broth and she also gets some wet food on a lick pad for mental stimulation. Now I feel like sometimes because her bottom jaw is so much shorter than her top jaw sometimes she has difficulty eating and like reaching into things like puzzle bowls so what we've been doing lately is just taking that bowl of brothy food goodness and dumping it on top of the lick pad so that she can't just eat her dessert first with the wet food but she has to eat both of the foods and I think the flat surface kind of helps her eat a little bit more I don't know it might just be in my head but I think it works so as far as puppy teeth go I'm pretty sure that Bindi has lost all of her teeth and that all of her adult teeth are grown in or like finishing growing in you can actually see that you know her baby lower canines were extracted which I did a video on up here and now the adult canines are poking in and you can see them and yes they're still crooked and not pointed in the right direction so we've been going back to the dentist to do every other week checkups to see what the next procedure will be and actually this week that I am recording the video we are going back to the dentist for the final appointment before her next procedure to exactly decide what that procedure will be because her lower canines even as adults are still impacting her upper palate and of course that's expected with an overbite but we don't want that to affect her health so we're going to be making a decision this week on what kind of surgery she's going to be having next so i'll be making a video once i know more details on that so keep an eye out for that at five months old bindi loves going for walks she actually started going on walks earlier than rocket and i think partly that's because rocket gave her the confidence by having like another dog there and if rocket was walking and everything was okay with him she would be like okay this isn't so bad i'll keep walking too so that's been really nice she is just a different dog than rocket too in general she is more confident 
confident and she is kind of more willing to take risks perhaps and just kind of stir it up with Rocket. Like she's always walking over to pull on his ear when he's sleeping. Partly the puppy thing and I think that it's partly her little red healer attitude. Some people say that red healers are red because they have more dingo mixed in them and I'm not sure if that's true or not but it definitely seems to apply in this situation. When we're getting ready to go on a walk she'll actually whine at the front door and be like hey hurry up put on your shoes faster because she just doesn't want to wait and is so excited to go outside. We're working on heels during the walks as well as look at me and trying not to bark at other dogs or people when she sees them on the walks and of course this is all great socialization because with the warmer weather there's more people outside so there's more things to see and expose her to. We're also working on some agility training kind of with a makeshift urban parkour mini agility course slash the neighborhood playground, but we're still practicing so I'll be talking more about that in a future video. Like we taught Rocket to do, we are also working with Bindi on sitting whenever a car goes by to prevent the urge for them to chase a car and rather for her to focus on us. And we are also doing a sit and wait at every single crosswalk and then we only cross the street once we give that okay, which is our version of the release command. Bindi is learning to play fetch and she's finally getting the hang of it too. Each time she's getting better at it, she used to run and then drop like the ball halfway or lose interest, but with a lot of praise and a lot of treats, she actually is running all the way to us and she is dropping the ball at our feet and then she'll just kind of sit there and look and wait for treats. Sometimes she still does have that puppy attention span and will drop the ball for a real good looking stick. I swear that sticks are her favorite thing in the entire world and by the end of the warm season, I guarantee you we will have zero wood chips left in the backyard because she will have eaten them all. Also, I am so happy that she is finally running during fetch and not just sitting there and waiting for Rocket to go get the ball and bring it back and just watching him because she needs the exercise. She has been going crazy lately and Rocket, he has been wanting his sleep. You know, he wants his naps throughout the day. Well, Bindi, she'll go in her crate and then she'll want to be let out. And sometimes I'm like, okay, does she need to go potty? But no, it's just to get up and go and antagonize Rocket. So now that she's running for fetch, I'm hoping some of that energy will go into fetch and not an attacking rocket. We have also designated dog places and human places. So that means constantly getting Rocket and Bindi to stay off of the couch and then also not sleeping on our beds anymore, but instead sleeping on their own designated bed next to ours. We put beds for both Rocket and Bindi in the living room and then also in our bedroom so they have a place to sleep. Again, this is all just to reinforce that us humans are the pack leaders and I hate to break it to you, Rocket, but you are not in charge here. Since Bindi has her next dentist appointment coming up this week, we have been working on ball therapy every single day for the past two weeks. Now ball therapy is where you take a ball about the size of their mouth and you put it in their mouth and ideally it would be behind their canines but really any kind of chewing is good and it kind of works like a human retainer would. Basically what it does is as they're chewing on that ball it pushes their canine teeth out slowly. Little bit by little bit but every little bit makes a difference. So hopefully if we keep this up it will shift her lower canine teeth even the slightest bit, which can really make a lot of difference when it comes time to make a decision on the procedure that we'll be doing next for her. Good girl. Good girl. And when it's time to go to sleep, like I said, we now have a bed for Bindi of all her own in my bedroom that she can sleep on in the night and stay off of my bed. It's gone pretty well so far. She has jumped up, of course, a few times, and then I have to kind of bribe her off with a cookie and a down, you know, reward her for going on her bed, but I think that it's working so far. She also really loves chewing on her little raptor dinosaur's arm every night. I don't know why it's a thing, but it is. I think that maybe because there's like little toenails on the stuffed dinosaur and Rocket and Bindi both really like chewing on tags or any like super thin soft fabric so maybe that's why she likes it. Anyways it's the same arm every single night but when she chews on it she just kind of curls up and then she'll go to sleep for the night. Bindi has grown so much in such a short time and I cannot wait to see all that she knows and is learning at six months old. That's all for today. If you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, turn on the notification bell to never miss a vlog growing up blue and stay up to date on all things Australian cattle dogs. 
and leave me a comment down below. I go through and read all of them and respond to you guys. So let me know what breed is your puppy and how old are they? Are there any other five month old red healers out there like Bindi? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already watched it, I just posted a video of us taking a mini road trip with Rocket and Bindi and all of the fun adventures they had that day, including Rocket going swimming and chasing after sticks and like diving for sticks in the water for the very first time ever. He has hated water so far so the fact that he is doing this is pretty amazing and I am so excited for the summer. Maybe I can even get him in the pool. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye everyone! Mm -hmm.